Hi, due to the popularity of my video on how to play games on a portable DVD player, I'm going to go over some things real quick. Hopefully this is going to be a fast video, I hope. But, if you don't have a flash drive, can you play other things, uh, use other things? The answer is yes. You can use an SD card, a micro SD card with the adapter, these usually come with some type of adapter to put your games on. Now, I'm going to go over some things real fast. If you want to play games on your portable DVD player, or if you're thinking about buying one, that's entirely up to you. I'm not saying do, I'm not saying don't, I'm not saying a laptop's better or worse. Um, in, a, in a bad situation, you want something that uses less power, or if you're off-grid, this does use less power than my laptop, and I can only do certain things with it. I can watch DVDs, video files, and play games, but only the N N Nintendo NES games, right? Now, my laptop, I can play all kinds of stuff, but in a bad situation, or in a long travel, like going on a trip with kids in the car, you don't want to give them a laptop. Something like this would be good. Now, before you decide to purchase one of these, there's a couple things you need to know. You will see it has two USB slots. This is for the game controller only. This is not a working slot for video files, music, things like that. Only this one. Here you see the SD slot. Now, unfortunately, I still cannot find my controller. So, I put it somewhere. I just forgot where I put it. Let's open this up. Just so you know, there is no game disc. There's no flash drive. Just SD card. Since I have to use my remote here, I cannot start the games, but I can show you they are on here. They do load. Now, I have been going through and removing some bad games that would either not load or freeze. Um, and I have put other games on here. Some of these are translated. Now, I do not have the audio on at all. Uh, there's one game I am looking for. Uh, let's see if I put it on here. See, all these are games I'm going through. Right there. Super Robot Wars 2. Alright. Now this is off the SD card. Like I said, you can use a micro SD card if you have the adapter that makes it SD card size. Now this is a 16 gigabyte Now, I wanted to go over something pretty quick. If you're going to use one of these for gaming, it only runs the Nintendo games. Now, I did put it on a 4 gigabyte flash drive. Now, I'm holding this, trying to get everything in the picture, and it's real hard to do this way. 
maybe I ought to just that way I can kind of rest it on my shoulder here alright so other than playing off the uh, flash drive you can play it off SD card now I do want to go over something pretty quick you can buy one of these machines for pretty much next to nothing around 50 bucks they will play the games they will also play video file formats certain formats certain sizes now I've already covered this in one of my videos before but I believe it's a pretty long video but I'm gonna show you why I recommend RMVB 480 by 320 if you're converting video files to watch now the two types of flash drives I use and SD cards and things like that are SanDisk and PNY Now I convert everything to 480 by 320 for a reason because you can fit a whole lot of stuff on a single flash drive and if you're on a trip with a child in the car and you want them to have something to do so they're not like kicking the back of your seat or are we there yet are we there yet whatever you can put a lot of stuff on a flash drive now these go up to 32 gigabytes as far as the flash drive goes now up here this little counter you can see this came off of TNT but you can see the little counter I have not figured out how to get that off I think there's a way but I just I'm not sure but I don't think a child is gonna give a damn if you are um, basically on a long trip now this is the quality of 480 by 320 on this DVD player Let me kind of set this down some because it is hard to hold this with one hand. Now you can see there's quite a lot of stuff on here. So if you're on a long trip, you can have something for your kid to do. Now these come in really handy if you have a power outage. If it is one charged or you have a way to power it two you have something to do in an emergency or if you have children in the home you don't want them messing with a laptop but something like this with just a remote you know most kids can handle that Now, once again, I do convert every video to RMVB 480 by 320. That's a good picture. Even the television shows you convert have a decent picture on this.
Now is one of these right for you? That's up to you. Now I started this video talking about the games. I'll get back to it. But I wanted you to see how much stuff is actually on a single 32 gigabyte flash drive. Once again, if you have kids, something like this, yes, it does take time to convert all these video files into RMVB 480 by 320. But think about how many hours, literal hours, of cartoons that would be on here. Every single one of these is the complete season or complete series. Think about that. Now, I'm going to stop this. I do not want to get a copyright strike. Let's get back to the games. Now, this also plays music. Always make sure you put your video or music flash drive or your SD card in the front section, not in the back. I'm going to show you why. This is nothing but music on here. Now, like I said, I'm not telling you to go out and buy one of these. You can find these pretty cheap, though, for under $50 that do play the games, play the video files. They will play RMVB. I'm going to go over advantages and disadvantages uh, real quick. Now, yeah, I do have the volume off. Now, unfortunately, I can only use this audio file flash drive to show you what's going to happen if you plug something in to the back. Remember, this is specifically set up for a game controller. It is not set up for a flash drive. See how it's loading? Low battery. Low battery. Low battery. It didn't have low battery in the front. What it's doing, this is made specifically for the game controller. Alright? You cannot use it for a USB flash drive. Of any type. Now if I turn it back on, let's put this back in here, in the front. Now it's not going to say low battery. What it's doing is that back is more or less a power source for the game controller. That's all it's for. No low battery warning. Alright, I'm going to go over this. Everything that's on here. USB. I'm going to see if I can hold it. USB. SD. Right there is earphone jack. Uh, midnight's over here, butt heads on the floor. Uh, AV out, which means the adapter you that comes with this, you can hook up to an external TV, uh, things like that. AV in, that means if you have a game console like uh, Dreamcast, with the adapter that comes with it, you can play Dreamcast on the screen here. Power switch. Right here is your power plug. This is for your game controller. Now this is for TV. Now this TV is not going to work. 
these are not made to play digital TV. And since digital TV is everywhere, that's what that's for. Uh, before digital, it is analog TV. Okay. Once again, I only use specific types of flash drives, um, SD cards. I only use two different brands. Now this is a SanDisk 2. You just can't see it because I got music on it. PNY. PNY. I have several flash drives here with stuff on them. SanDisk. Um, SanDisk. These flash drives are pretty reasonable in price. So now, if you're going to play your games with a flash drive or even an SD card, you do not have to have a large one. Now, this is a 16 gigabyte. This one has the games on it. It's four, four gigabytes. Once again, you don't have to have a flash drive. You can use an SD or a micro SD if you have the adapter to make it the size of an SD card. This is the four gigabyte flash drive. There we go. The games are in those folders. Just so you know, no game CD. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm making this video. When I made the other one with the flash drive, well, yes. Because I wanted you to see you can actually run the games off of a SD card or a micro SD card with the adapter that make it this size. Now this SD card is out of the old uh, Walmart camcorder I used to make my videos out of that I gave away because I hated that thing so much. But I kept the SD card. And I really don't have a use for this other than just storing stuff on it. But I'm like, you know what? I know this will play off an SD card. So I want you to see that it can do it. And I showed you it can do it. If you are going to buy one of these portable DVD players to play games on, do not buy a bunch of blank CDs and try to burn it on a disc. I have done that. I can get it to actually load, but it starts to crash almost immediately after it starts to load. And I mess with stuff like this a lot. So if I can't get it to work correctly on a CD, and I burnt like 10 different CDs, wasted the money on them to try to get the games to load I couldn't get them to load so instead of using a CD and spending the time and aggravation just get a small flash drive or a small SD card it does not have to be a 16 gigabyte SD card it could be something much smaller. Now let's go over this real quick. Once again, if you're going to look for a portable DVD player or want one or have one and you want to know if it can play games, the first thing you need to do is check your slots. If you don't have a USB that says game or you, you don't have two slots, no, you're not going to be able to run games, I guarantee it. Now, it may be possible if you get the original game disc that came with a lot of these, you might be able to plug a cheap generic controller in.
But remember, these only take a certain type of controller. And you're going to spend a lot of money just on the controller. The cheapest controller I found that said would work with one of these is $18 for a single controller. Then there's the two pack that is $25. Bucks. Now for $50, bucks, I can literally buy a DVD player with the controller that comes with it. And a lot of cases, it'll even have the game disc for 50 bucks. Now, I can, once again, play the Dreamcast using this machine. I have to plug it into the input, and that's it. I can play a DVD on a regular TV, plug it into the output here with the adapter. That's it. Once again, not every DVD player will play games. This is what I have. If you're going to save video files and convert them to play on this and put stuff back for like when the power goes out, yes, it does take a long time to convert all these files. But this only plays certain file formats and certain sizes of that video. AVI files, only certain AVI files will play. It has 720p. RMVB seems to be the very best format. And, and that's at uh, 480 by 320. That's what all my stuff is converted to. Do not just run out and buy one of these because you want to play Nintendo games. Not all Nintendo games will play on this, even with the emulator that's on the flash drive or SD card. Some Nintendo games will freeze, and you have to reboot. Some just won't load. Some will crash. Once again, if you want one of these, that's up to you. I'm not going to tell you to buy one. I just wanted you to see. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's so dry. I just wanted you to see, yes, you can play games or even run videos or music off an SD card or micro SD with the adapter a flash drive now this is up to 32 gigabyte uh, once again if you're gonna play Nintendo stuff I would go no bigger than a 4 gigabyte I mean 4, 8, whatever you can find that's cheapest uh, if you want a 16 or 32 that's fine I would stay with certain brands of flash drives I have tried several cheap flash drives off eBay one, they didn't have the capacity they said they had. And two, they were just complete junk. There's only two brands I trust. You can trust whatever brand or use whatever brand you like. Remember... The back USB port is not a working port for any video files, game files. It is strictly meant for your controller. That's it. It will not work with anything else. If you plug something else in there, it'll kill the battery. It'll suck it dead. And you will get that error that is low battery, even though your battery's not low. Only the ports that do not state uh, game are working USB ports for video, music, things like that. And it says USB. This one down here says game. And of course, SD card. Now I apologize, this video is almost 25 minutes. Um, I do not try to sell you anything. I will not try to sell you anything. 
but if you want something for an emergency situation or a long road trip and you don't want to give your kid access to like a laptop a hundred and fifty dollar laptop or two hundred dollar laptop investing in one of these for literally you can buy some of these something like this with a smaller screen that will play the games for around 50 bucks that you can plug into your car's cigarette lighter and keep it running that's a pretty good investment if you're making a three-day road trip you know to go see grandma or go see the Grand Canyon that's up to you I'm not gonna say buy one or not buy one but if you are looking at one of these Think about what you may use it for, what you might want to use it for, whether you're going to have kids on it or adults on it, um, whether you're going to want to convert video files to watch movies or shows. Make sure if you want to play games, it has the right ports. Now remember the TV port will not work. None of these play digital TV that I could see. And some of these are like 300 bucks. You don't need something that's 300 bucks to watch a DVD, video files, or play some cheap or cheesy little NES games. Always make sure it has the ports you need before you buy one of these. If you're going on a very long road trip or you're going camping or something like that and you want the kids to have something to do take the time convert your videos into RMVB format and uh, 480 by 320 especially like a lot of cartoons this can plug into your car's cigarette lighter to charge a battery if it goes dead you can use it on solar whatever the point is have them something to do you would much rather have your kid messing with something that costs fifty dollars instead of your laptop that could cost three four five hundred dollars anyway I apologize this is almost 30 minutes make sure you know what you're doing when you buy one of these like I said you can find some of these that play games that'll play the video files and play DVDs for around 50 bucks on eBay um, make sure you get some type of flash drive or the SD card to put your games on you can go to the other video I made on playing games with the flash drive look through the description of that video for links to get the game ISO to download to make your own flash drive or SD card for the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo games. All right, I'm fixing to go. I appreciate people that made it through this long. I was going to talk about Trump's indictment today, but since I have a lot to say about that, I I'm going to make that another video. Uh, in fact, I'll probably start it right after I end this one and upload this one. Um, so yes, I probably will be wearing the same shirt and looking the same um, Even if I upload that video on a different day Okay Like I said, I do not try to sell you anything. I don't make money if you buy something But Somebody left a comment that their Sylvia are great there. They didn't know their Sylvia um, I believe a Sylvia DVD player could play games and as far as I know, most of them can't. As far as I know, most of the old Philips uh, can't uh, because they only have the one USB slot. Um, if you have a portable DVD player and you're not sure, look at your plugs, your ports. Usually it'll say game or controller if that port is what that's meant for. Now I'm not sure if I plugged in a controller here 
and a game here what would happen because the way these work the hard uh, not hard drive excuse me the DVD CD ROM reads first then this will read second third so if you have a controller plugged in here and then your games here it may not it probably won't work all right I'm fixing to go uh, I am doing laundry today um, I will be going and asking the homeless guy if he needs to wash some clothes unfortunately since I let him wash his clothes and all that dirt got my wash machine it has been squeaking a lot and you know no good deed goes unpunished but what can you do um, there are a lot of homeless out now and that's another video topic that I may get into later but like I said if you made it to the end thank you and you can use different things for your games don't waste your money <clears throat> literally on buying a bunch of blank CDs trying to burn them it's not going to work correctly I should know I went through 10 blank CDs just to get the games to try to load and they were either choppy they would freeze you know uh, don't do it don't waste your time or your money just get a flash drive one that you can trust or an SD card or micro SD card with the adapter all right that's it I'm fixing to go everyone have a good day bye